Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, since this, since this is my first time seeing Mass in the Shrine, uh, starting from the Advent season and day to day, the fifth day within the altar for Christmas or Nativity of the Lord. So allow me to say, Merry Christmas to you all. So brothers and sisters, as I said already in the opening of the Mass, in the entrance of the Mass a while ago, that we are reminded to reflect the conception, the understanding of the Lord of God, which Mary and Joseph, the parents of Jesus, they, they how to go, they remind us to obey the Lord of God in the gospel of today. And from the first reading, if we obey the Lord of God, how do we obey the Lord of God? By obeying the commandments of God. What happens to us if we obey the commandments of God or if we keep God's commandments in our life? If we keep God's commandments in our life, we live in the light. But if we don't keep God's commandments, we live in darkness. How do we live in the light and how do we live in darkness? Of course, from the first reading, from the first letter of St. John, if we hate our brothers and sisters, we live in darkness. If we love our brothers and sisters, we live in the light. Of course, the light here represents the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ. If we love our brothers and sisters and neighbors, we live in the Lord, in the light. So now let me go back to the gospel of today that, you know, a very uh, beautiful, the beginning, uh, the first paragraph of the gospel of today is very beautiful. Why? Because uh, the parents of Jesus really, they are real children of God because they always put in their heart to keep, to obey the Lord of God. Why? Uh, I'm uh, repeating is, this is that uh, nowadays uh, we don't even think of that there is law from the Lord. There is divine law we want to put away from our life. The divine law. Brothers and sisters, always put in your life the law, the divine law in your life. Why? Because if we keep the divine law in our life, it is for our eternal life. One day we will be uh, rewarded eternal life because we are faithful and we keep the law of the Lord in our life like uh, Jesus and Mary, uh, uh, Joseph and Mary, the parents of Jesus. And then now let me also connect with the human law. Of course, they are also human law. It's also important human law to put, to keep human law in our life. What do you mean by human law? Let's put in simple way that uh, human law prescribes orders or rules which keep our society in peace, justice, if we don't have a, how to call it, human law, our society will be in darkness. If we don't keep God's law and the human law in our life, our life is in darkness. Our society is in darkness. For example, let, uh, let us say the Myanmar, I'm sure that, uh, I'm sure that you are aware what is happening in Myanmar. Your 
friends, the people of Myanmar, they are in darkness. Why? Because the military junta of Myanmar, they don't keep human law. They don't respect God's law. They don't respect God's commandment. That is why Myanmar is in darkness. In darkness means in terms of economic, education, emotion, all these are in darkness. Why? Because the military junta doesn't respect the commander in chief and the generals of the military junta of Myanmar. They don't keep God's law and human law, God's commandments also. So, brothers and sisters, what is the cost of not keeping human law is that due to our personal interest, due to our personal fame. Why the uh, memory is in darkness? Because, because of the commander-in-chief by the name of Me Our Life, due to his personal interest, interest and fame, he wants to become the president of Myanmar. But according to the law or constitution of Myanmar, he cannot be the president of Myanmar. Why? Because we have president, democratically elected president by the civilians of Myanmar. So he cannot become the president of Myanmar. But finally, due to his personal interest and the personal fame, due to the, how to go, uh, to, to, to gain power due to money. Because of him, everyone in Myanmar is living in darkness. So brothers and sisters, let us always be reminded that uh, to keep God's law, God's commandments, and uh, human law so that our society will be in peace will be in justice, will be in the light instead of in the darkness, which no one likes. No one likes to live in the darkness. So let us pray for one another. So may I request you to pray more and more for the people of Myanmar so that they will be free from the darkness caused by the military junta of Neymar. Thank you. Please rise. <clears throat> Simeo's sight 